Oh my gosh, it's so freaking dry, like so dry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Shuli Divine. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a distant subscriber, thank you for calling back and showing me so much love. You guys are amazing. Um, yeah, so now I'm going to be addressing you guys as my Divine Dolls because that's what I came up with and I love it and I love you guys. So in the comments below, write Divine Dolls. <laughs> what a heart. Okay, so influencer and Laura Mercier actually sent me a package. They actually sent me a package and it is their new foundation and concealer. Foundation. Concealer. And the must have laura mercier translucent powder so we are going to be doing a we're not going with this so we are going to be trying out this foundation concealer and setting it with the powder you guys this is my first time ever using this foundation so this is going to be a first impressions and so the name of the foundation is their flawless fusion ultra long wear foundation and i got the shade c I got the shade 5C1 and it is nutmeg. And in the concealer, I got the shade 5N. Go, 5N. And this foundation retails for about $48. You can purchase this foundation at Sephora and LauraMercier.com. And I believe you can also get it at Macy's. Let's see what they're talking about, what this foundation is supposed to do. It's supposed to be flawless full coverage for 15 hours. It's supposed to be sweat, humidity, water, and transfer resistant. Okay, so many people are always asking for a foundation that doesn't transfer. So if this, this doesn't transfer, like, we on top of it. It says color stays true all day and won't oxidize. Okay, and it also says buildable medium to full color that beautifully evens out skin tone and minimizes the look of pores and imperfection. It says control oil immediately and throughout the day. Matte finish is never dull, flat, or cakey. Weightless texture looks, fits, and feels like second skin. Skin Fusion Technology provides unlimited long wear with comfortable, breathable ease. So it's medium to full coverage. Matte finish is ideal for skin types, normal to oily. It is oil-free, fragrance-free, non-comodinic, and dermatologist tested. <laughs> like what? Okay. Yes, yeah, so... That's what it says. Okay, so the concealer resells for $28. It's 12 shades in this concealer. Um, I'll go back and see how many shades of the foundation they have. But it's 12 shades in this concealer. And I got this shade 5N, which is like this, the third to the darkest shade. And it is supposed to be... A medium to full coverage weightless concealer that perfects, hydrates, and blurs with 12 hours of crease resistance wear. They trying to out, they trying to, they, I feel like they like pipe themselves up a little too high. Like, so I'm not going to get no greases. And this one stay on all day. I'm not going to get oily. I'm not going to get flaky. I'm not going to get nothing. Let it, let y'all be telling the truth. Let y'all be telling the truth. It says coverage that won't crease. There's 20 shades in the foundation, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm hyped. I want to see what they're talking about. Okay, so let's get started. I already primed my face and color corrected, so I'm looking pretty even. I am going to be using my Real Techniques sponge, damp sponges only. I don't know who be telling y'all dry sponges are full coverage. Cut it out. Okay, so while that may be true... You might, you're better off just building it up, okay? Because that dry sponge is not going to apply the product the way you want it to. I'm scared I didn't test it. Oh my gosh, so orange. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, so orange. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. It's so orange. Oh my gosh. Mm, I don't know about the shade, y'all. The shade is looking great. A Z. I feel like I'm using a lot. And I don't know if I like the way it's applying with the sponge. So we might have to switch it up. I don't like the way it's applying with this sponge. I look orange, y'all. Oh my god. I want to switch it up just a bit and try using this um, little buffing brush. It's the Morphe G38 brush. I feel like I've pumped a lot. So, I don't know. I don't like how I was applying it at all. I don't know. I'm switched back to the sponge. I don't like how I was applying. And you have to build it up. It's that medium to full coverage. So I guess you have to use more. I guess. Two more pumps. Two more pumps. I feel like. Y'all knew I wanted some full coverage. It does feel pretty mad though. Yeah, this shade don't look too good though. It's only two. I don't know how many more shades of this. I think it's only two more after this one. They're tripping. Yeah, that feels pretty mad. Pretty, pretty matte. I'm not gonna apply it anymore. I feel like I used 10 freaking pumps. And it looks blotchy. So next I'm going to use the concealer. Like I said, this is the shade N5 or 5N. I don't know. I'll put everything in the description box. But like the, come on, the concealer looks perfect. This might be my new fave concealer. Just cause the shade literally looks perfect. Looks perfect. Um, in the shade that I would typically wear. But it doesn't look too perfect for this foundation. I do like the, the brush, the applicator. It's nice. Picks up a lot of product. We going OD on the concealer. Hope it doesn't dry as fast as the um, foundation. Foundation like dried up like crazy. It's gonna use the other side. I feel like it's blending out pretty nice. And it looks pretty full coverage. That looks like a lot of coverage. Nice. Nice on the concealer. The foundation is like super freaking matte. And I have dry skin. So I don't know if I would recommend this for people with dry skin. It's dry. And it feels dry. <sighs> I think they try a little too hard to make this a 
super stay matte type of something because I'm not liking it at all. At least I know that the powder is good. <laughs> Y'all, I all the way hate this foundation. It's so dry, it don't need no dang going setting. I'm disappointed. What do y'all think? The shade is all. The shade is all. And I'm going to try to spray this and see what happens. My rose water. See if it'll break some magic up. I mean, it always. I mean, it always performs miracles, but. It. And I would definitely like broke up that makeup cakiness though. So if you don't have rose water. I'm Mario Basque. Bye. Yeah, messing up. But I thought I was gonna do my makeup. Be cute. I'm really not feeling this foundation and concealer. So I think I'm gonna take it off. Okay, so this foundation is super dry and super like it's super matte and even the concealer is super matte and I think they were like going for hey if it's so matte then it won't crease and it won't crack but that whole no pores no cracks no like no um I would recommend it for I would recommend you try it out if you have oily skin because having dry skin this is a no for me I typically like that dewy look anyway, but some foundations like MAC, um, they're matte, but they're not this dang on dry. It, and they're sticky. They're sticky, and I think sticky was another thing they were going for, for the no creasing and cracks and all that stuff they were seeing. But, no for me. <laughs> It's enough for me. I'm not going to recommend this to you guys because I don't personally like it. But if you do have oily skin, um, I will tell you to dab on and see if you like it. <sighs> the shade match is off. Right. The shade I got in the foundation is the third to the last one. So the next one after this is Pecan. And then they have their darkest is Truffle. So... Yeah, I'm taking this off, okay? It's too dry for me, it's too dry for me. Maybe if I mix it with the oil, but the shade is off, so. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Um, but yeah, try it out and let me know what you guys think about it if you're gonna try it out, if you have oily skin. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at eight. Honey, divine dolls, and you guys are bomb. I look crazy, a mess. I look crazy, a mess. Whew, we had to. We had to. I had to. Look at my skin difference. But like that's that's chocolate to vanilla. I will see you guys in my next video.